What am Joe? It's not on TV here. Back with another boxing video. What's good, y'all? Holy shit! What a night of boxing, right? Man, it was a crazy ass night of boxing, man. Motherfucking um, Tank Davis knocks out Frank Martin. Just kind of like how we all thought would happen. You know what I mean? Frank. Frank Martin, man, he was doing real good, man. He was boxing slick, he was sharp, he was sharp. He was fast, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He was doing everything. He was doing everything that he needed to do. And then for whatever reason, he just kept backing up to them fucking ropes, man. He just kept putting his back on the ropes, kept backing up, kept backing up. And with him backing up to the ropes the way he was, bro, he he just kept leaving himself open. And he wasn't throwing nothing back. He would catch Tank with a few little counter shots here and there, but for the most part, man, he was just laying. He was just laying on the ropes, languishing on the ropes, just taking shots. Damn. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Fuck. Loud as fuck down here tonight. Shit. I hate Chicago at night. Be louder than a motherfucker down here. Anyway, um. House Blues all the way down there, if y'all can see it, if it ain't too blurry. But, uh, yeah, G, like, um, I didn't even get the chance to finish the uh, Liam Peril, um, Subriel Matias fight. I had it playing on my phone while I was at the bar watching the Tank Davis fight. And while I was watching the Tank Davis fight, you know, I'm trying to go back and forth on the, you know, on my phone and look at the Liam Peril fight. I, I don't even know what really happened, bro. I'm gonna have to go back and like rewatch that fight or catch it or whatever the fuck, but I ain't even catch it. To be honest with you, I wasn't too concerned about the undercard that came with it, the Puerto Rico undercard, all that shit. Cause uh, none of those fights or fighters really interest me at all, if I'm being honest. And uh, what else, what else? Um, Gary Russell, Gary Antoine Russell, man. Gary Antoine Russell lost a split decision to uh, Alberto Pollo. Surprising, man. I thought he was just gonna. I thought he was gonna walk through him. In all honesty, man, I really and truly thought Gary Russell was the goods. I still do think he's the goods. And to be honest with you, if I'm being honest, man, I really thought that he won that fight, bro. I really did think that he won that fight. I think that they kind of gave Pollo a gift decision in that regard, in my opinion. But damn. Um, fuck, man. Uh, I gotta find out about. Like I said, I gotta find out about the Liam Pearl fight. Uh, Gary Antoine Russell lost by split decision. Uh, Benavidez won his fight against Vostick, but I mean, Vostick gave Benavidez all he could handle. It looked like Benavidez' power didn't really translate up to 175 the way I guess everybody thought that it would. That's why people were kind of picking. Benavidez to just kind of mow down Volstic. But that's not what happened. Volstic was a game live dog the entire time, didn't come to lay down. And um, he was taking some hell of shots, man. And it was just like, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to wobble him, wasn't enough to hurt him, stun him. And damn sure wasn't enough to knock him down and knock him out. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, world famous Marinas. Marinas, you know a couple people that used to live in these, yeah, in Shin, right next to the House of Blues, you feel, but yeah, man, I gotta turn around, man, cause, uh, I actually supposed to be going back the other way, <laughs> cause, uh, you know, I was only really doing this to have a, you know, conversation about this boxing shit, man, there was so much boxing going on, man, I couldn't even keep up, but, O overall and all in all, that's what I saw so far, thus far. Um, got the little boats in the need. Let me get one of them little bitches. I'll be riding through this motherfucker all the time down the Chicago River. Still kind of green from the St. Patty's Day shit. Beautiful city shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, G. Um, good night of good night of boxing. Um, I expected Benavidez to win, but I expected him to come out with a knockout, but he didn't. Like I said, he was moving up his first fight at 175, fighting someone like Volstic, who's only lost a better B of. 
still an impressive win. Um, people are probably going to try to take that moniker away from him as a monster, but you can't because he was in there hunting. But Volstick was smothering his work, keeping him off him, you know, putting that jab in his face. That's one thing Benavidez didn't do. He didn't work that jab like damn near at all during the fucking fight, which he's going to have to work on. Um, we'll see what happens moving forward, man. We'll see what's next for Tank. We'll see what's next for Frank. We'll see what's next for all of them, man. Um, great night of boxing, man. Anyway, I'll be back with another one, man. This is just my quick post-fight thoughts as far as what I've seen or what I had the chance to fucking see. So, it's no home TV, man. I'll be back with another one. Peace.